and welcome to another in the Ask the Data Governance Coach video series. And today's question is quite a, a fundamental one, um, and it is, what is a data governance policy? Now, I often get asked about the difference between policies and standards when it comes to data governance, and I've even written a blog on that, and I'll share the link to that uh, in the comments below. But somebody pointed out to me very recently that I actually hadn't done a video explaining clearly what an actual data governance policy is. So when I use the term data governance policy, I mean a high level document which mandates that your organization embraces data governance. So I don't mean an individual policy against a, an item like a, a data quality standard. I mean one document that says our organization is mandating that we do data governance for the following data for the following reasons. Now, um, Lots of people are perhaps not familiar with this concept, but if you think about it, every organization I've ever worked with has some kind of policies. Now, they may be health and safety policies, they may be risk management policies, but you can guarantee that your organization will have some policies that are signed off by very senior people in your organization that mandate certain types of activity and behavior. Now, it is really important that we also have one of these for data governance, because if we don't, what we're trying to do is implement data governance on a best endeavors basis. Now, you might be thinking this is a bit odd. Nicola normally tells us that we should uh, emphasize the benefits, sell the value, the outcomes of doing data governance. And now I'm telling you, go and get a piece of paper, which in effect is a big stick. Um, and, you know, it, it forces people to do data governance. Now, clearly, I want you to spend the vast majority of your time focusing on the benefits of data governance. But if we don't have the policy, people don't have to do it. And you're only going to get so far. So I think it's really important that we get a data governance policy, which sets out perhaps the scope of what data is going to be in scope of what we're doing and what activities we're expecting to do. Because as you'll know, if you followed any of my videos, what we do for data governance is not the same for each and every organization. So you want a policy that makes it very clear what it is that you're requiring people in your organization do to manage their data better. And I'd really encourage you to get this done reasonably early in your initiative because it's a really great way to engage senior stakeholders because you shouldn't be writing this policy in isolation. You should get them involved. And it really sets the tone uh, that the people at the very top of your organization understand that data is an asset and have given some clear guidance for how it needs to be managed so that it can be managed as an asset. So I hope you found that useful. And if you've got any other questions that you'd like me to answer in future videos, just remember, email them into questions at nicolaaskham.com.